Today, I am going to speak about a great saint who lived in 4th century. His name is Anthony the Great. He was a Christian monk from Egypt. Revered since his death as a saint, he is distinguished from other saints named Anthony, such as Anthony of Padua, by various epithets of his own. For his importance among the Desert Fathers and to all later Christian monasticism, he is also known as the father of all monks. His feast day celebrated on 17th January among the Orthodox and Catholic Churches. Attributes bell, pig, book, tau cross with bell pendant. He is considered often as the first Christian monk, but as some other sources make clear, there were many ascetics before him. Anthony was, however, among the first known to go to into the wilderness about 270 after Christ. Anthony is appealed to against infections, diseases, particularly skin diseases. Most of what is known about Anthony comes from the life of Anthony written in Greek around 360, Athanasius of Alexandria. Anthony was born in Coma in Lower Egypt to wealthy loaned lava parents. When he was about 20 years old, his parents died and left him with the care of his unmarried sister. Shortly thereafter, he decided to follow the gospel exhortation in Matthew 19.21. If you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven. Anthony gave away some of his family lands to his neighbors, sold the remaining property and donated the funds to the poor. He then left to live an ascetic life, placing his sister with a group of Christian virgins. He maintained a very strict ascetic diet, ate only bread and water, never alcohol. Only once a day he ate sometimes fasted throughout the week, sometimes five, six, seven days. He struggled a lot with the devil. He put him into various temptations or difficulties, hardships, which he overcame by the prayers, providing them for Christian art. Demons came in various forms. He never gave chance to devil. Evil spirit, let us take his food a good example of faith. With faith and in faith, he answered the devil spirit. Let us take his good example to have a strong faith in us. As he had, St. Anthony the Great, pray for us that we may too have a great battle with evil and that we may win. And may praise the Lord of heavens, as St. Anthony did, that we too may come to be more closer to God through our penance life. Let us acknowledge all our sins, all our shortcomings, our weak points, and let's fight with them to reach heaven. As St. Anthony the Great lived life in desert, Let's live a life in deserts in our normal real life, praising God.